That's the way it is. Fill a bottle of Coke and the way it will stay for the taste of your life. When you pick up a bottle of Coca-Cola and pour it or drink it, that intimacy in your hand, the way that it connects with your hand is, is it feels like at that moment that it's just you and the bottle. So it's an incredible piece of design because it, it can reach millions and millions of people at the same time, but, but at that same time, you feel it's just for you, just yours. For its first few years, Coca-Cola was strictly a fountain drink. It moved into bottling in 1899 but its early bottles were easily imitated. So it put out a call for a unique design. It said, we want a package that you can recognize lying broken on the ground or by feel in the dark. And with that in mind, the Root Glass Company sent two of its researchers to the local library. These researchers didn't know what was in the secret formula of Coca-Cola, so they actually looked up the coca pot which is the base of chocolate. If you've ever seen a coca pot, it's long and it's bulbous in the middle and it has the ribs going down the side. And Earl Dean and Clyde Edwards, the two researchers, went back to the lab and they traced it out and they added a spout and a base to it. And they came up with the concept of the original Coca-Cola bottle, the shape that everybody would recognize today. That bottle was patented on November 16, 1915 and has been in use ever since. And the rest, as they say, is history. The early bottle, the 1915 patent bottle, was actually a very bulbous and it didn't work well with the equipment. So they slimmed it down slightly and in 1916 actually began to produce the classic Coke bottle, the shape that everybody knows today. That bottle remained essentially unchanged. The Georgia Green of the Coke bottle was a design choice and it was chosen by uh, Chapman Root of the Root Glass Company, the company that patented the bottle. Chapman had done studies and he thought that the brown liquid inside the bottle was set off by the green. And it's actually a German dye. It's called Georgia Green because the Coca-Cola company is based in Georgia. When the term of the patent expired in 1951, the Coca-Cola company did something unprecedented. They actually sought trademark protection for the shape itself. And in 1960, the Coke bottle was granted trademark protection that no other company could use that shape for a carbonated drink. They actually produced a document that showed that 99% of Americans recognized the beautiful shape of the Coke bottle itself just in silhouette alone. You didn't even need to see the logo or the embossing or anything else, just a silhouette, an outline of a Coke bottle, and you knew it was a Coke bottle. Time Magazine in 1950 asked Robert Woodruff to appear on the cover of Time Magazine. He was our longtime chairman of the company, and he declined saying the brand was the most important thing. For the first time ever, actually put a brand on the cover of its magazine, and it had the world in the shape of a red disc and drinking from a Coke bottle. And that's when it transcended from a practical utilitarian consumer package into an icon. And then when the artists began incorporating it into their work, Salvador Dali is the first one I've been able to document. As early as 1943, and Poetry in America drew a Coke bottle. Then you had Rauschenberg with a Coca-Cola plan, and then Warhol with this famous iconic Coke bottle three, Coke bottle two, where he took the everyday disposable utilitarian item, the Coke bottle, and he turned it into art so that you could see art in everything as you looked around. The Coke bottle had come fully of age at that point. Raymond Lowy is a famous industrial designer. He did the Windstream. He did all these uh, noted industrial designs. And he once called the Coca-Cola bottle the perfect fluid wrapper. And it is. It's cold in your hands. It feels wonderful. The ribs accentuate the, the coldness, and you feel the embossing on it. And it enhances the drink experience to the point that when you drink out of a Coke bottle, you know you've had a classic experience.